OK, joined by Dublin Senior Camogie Manager Adrian O'Sullivan uh, ahead of the Leinster final this weekend against uh, Kilkenny in Port Leash this Saturday afternoon. Uh, Adrian, how are preparations going for the game so far? Yeah, um, look, this is our first time getting back together since the game on Saturday. Um, we were in the gym last night and also just waiting to see uh, if there's anyone still carrying a few niggles and stuff in the weekend. Um, we've gone into ankle season, as Fiona says, just with the ground hardening up and stuff like that. So uh, hopefully uh, everyone will come out and present for training uh, with no niggles and uh, yeah, we'll have a clean bit of health for the weekend. A uh, good win at the weekend, obviously, against Westmead. Sees you into the Leinster final. I'm sure you'll take plenty of positives. I'm sure plenty of learnings as well, but plenty of positives to take out of that Westmead game heading into the Kilkenny game this weekend. Yeah, definitely. Um, look, we had six, six championship debutants start, um, and they all acquitted themselves very well. So it was a great learning experience for them in front of a nice home crowd in Abbottstown as well. Um, took us a little bit, little bit of time to get going. Westmead really stuck it up to us. So, um, but yeah, look, we, we were in complete control really for the vast majority of the game, and it was great to give a bit of game time to, to those younger players. I say, and give them a taste, taste the championship heading into a big few weeks ahead. Yeah, big few weeks ahead, a big weekend ahead this weekend. It's a first Leinster final for this whole panel. Yeah. Um, Dublin haven't been in a Leinster final for quite a few years and haven't won one since, I think, in 1987. Yeah. So it's a big deal this weekend, a big uh, match for yourselves to come up against a big team in Kilkenny as well. Yeah, look, we haven't focused too much on the history of it now. Uh, we're very much aware of where we've come from um, and, and the historical past of Dublin Camogie, but I suppose look, most of these players weren't born the last time Dublin won it. and. Do you know, a lot of them weren't uh, weren't born last time Dublin played in the final either. So um, it's it's not something we're overly worried about. Uh, we did a lot of work with Ray Boyne last year on just focusing on on the moment that's in front of your eyes and and, and putting in a performance and how to piece together a performance. And look, we'll try and do that the same way on Saturday as we have done every other day. You know, so look, the only difference being that there there'll be a big uh, a big silver trophy there for the for the winners at the end of it is the only real difference in the outcome. But um, look, our, our players look they're they're fearless anyway. Look, that's the I suppose sometimes when you put in a lot of young players, um, maybe nerves can get them sometimes in games and that. But also, the positive side of that is they bring, they just bring a fearlessness and a kind of a nearly an arrogance of youth that the you know, the occasion won't get to them. So, yeah, look very much looking forward to it, and uh, it'll be uh, it'll be an interesting tussle. We've played Kikini a few times over the last 12 months, and there hasn't been a whole pile in it, and it's been fairly physical every time we've played them. So. Uh, whoever uh, makes the journey to Port Leash on Saturday will be in for uh, in for a good spectacle. Uh, Kikini are a team that we all know obviously very well, and I'm sure you know them very well as well. What can you expect from them this weekend? Yeah, I know them very well. Um, I would have coached a lot of them in the intermediate uh, team in Kikini in 2016, and was involved with Thomastown as well. So um, I know a lot of them from the club scene and stuff like that, and through the third level as well. So look, um, they'll know my coaching style as well, and I know them pretty well. But look. What can you expect from their Kikini team? Joe, they, they'll be physical and direct, and they, they've really good players all over the field. And any player who puts on the Kikini jersey has earned it. So, um, look, we know exactly what to expect, but we're not overly focusing on them, to be honest. We've just decided to start the year not to worry too much about opposition and really just focusing on ourselves and piecing that performance together. And, and look, that's what we're going to try to go do on Saturday. Yeah, and finally, how has the season been going so far? It's obviously you know a good win at the weekend. How how do you feel you have progressed? I guess this year, this is year two for yourself. Yeah, look, I suppose last year was very difficult in that. I suppose we, we had maybe three weeks before we played the first round of the league and we had a huge panel trying to figure out who everyone was. But look, if you're trying to compare like with like, I mean, we lost awfully last year and, and beat down by a point up in Newry and we beat both of them comfortably this year. So I suppose there's progression from a results point of view. But look, we took a little bit of a gamble. Um, I suppose there's been a lot of talk this, this week in Tipperary and the hurling circles that maybe Liam Sheedy didn't give younger players enough of a go uh, the last couple of seasons and they're kind of dealing with the fallout of that now since. So we took the gamble at the end of last season that, look, we, there's a number of players there who probably had a couple more seasons left in the Dublin jersey and decided to go go with youth. And I suppose it's a risk to take as an outside manager because there's always that chance that maybe you might be the next guy that benefits when you when you kind of do that uh, that transition phase. But the younger players have taken it so well that, look, the performances were really good in the league and we played really well on Saturday with Leinster final come up now. So we're really looking forward to the championship. It's just it's gone really well for us this season. We're absolutely delighted. I think there's huge potential in the group uh, into the future. Um, and we're really, really looking forward to the summer with them, yeah.